Andrew Trimble believes his Ireland teammates are raring to go in the Six Nations when they travel to Italy on Saturday. Freezing conditions saw their clash with France abandoned moments before kickoff, setting up a gruelling schedule of four games in as many weeks. Their campaign began with a defeat at home to Wales three weeks ago. It's hard to get rid of those frustrations unless you've got another game and, and we haven't had that chance, but I think just just the, the intensity you know, of our training is just up and up and, and hopefully, hopefully it will come good and I mean, you know, potentially you know, it could be a good thing for us that we had a break and we managed to have a good look at ourselves and say what are we doing wrong and, um, and hopefully we put a lot of those things we did wrong put them right this weekend. Coach Declan Kidney has named an unchanged starting lineup for the match at the Stadio Olimpico. Jonathan Sexton shrugging off a thigh injury sustained before the France clash to retain his place at fly half. Keith Earls is the only change to the side from the opening day defeat to Wales, replacing Fergus McFadden at outside centre. It's a similar story for France, as Philippe Saint-André will take an unchanged lineup to Scotland on Sunday. Julien Dupuis continuing to cover for the injured Dimitri Yashvili on the bench, with Johan Maestri finally making his first start for his nation. We will have the same team, but the tactics will probably be different. We will work on this during the week. We had a few training sessions which were more dedicated to those who are recovering from playing at the weekend. We are focused and we will be working hard this week. Meanwhile, Wales have made three changes to their pack with their side set on maintaining their unbeaten record against England. Captain Sam Warburton comes back in at flanker after a thigh injury forced him out of their 27-13 victory over Scotland. The other two changes come at opposite ends of the experience charts. Alan Wynne-Jones wins his 60th cap for his country in his first match back following the World Cup, whilst hooker Ken Owens will make his debut.